I have a lot of rubber ducks. You could say I have a bit of a collection. I wanted to see exactly how many I have. But as I was thinking about it, I realized that if I was going to have to count a toy that has no specific brand tied to it, I should probably define what a rubber duck is. Like, should I count one that doesn't squish? Or one that just doesn't look like the others? Should I count chicks? Or can I count pictures? Can I count unique ducks? Or should I count duplicates? Buzz, how specific are you going to be? Buzz, people think that I'm a bee. Well, I'm actually a duck. Buzz, don't worry. It's actually quite a common confusion. Ha 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 ha! Well, I want to be fair about this count, so if I say it's a duck, it's a duck. And if it's not, it's not. You're probably wondering, what is a duck? Well, the Oxford Dictionary defines duck as a swimming bird under the genus anus. No, like a- An instantaneous lowering of the head. No, like- <coughs> My father was a duck. I guess he does kind of look like one. Yeah. And oh, it says here that duck is a sort of old Englishly way of saying duke. Oh. Is that not what we were talking about? I'll just leave. So, in the 1800s, there was the invention of a, a Charles Goodyear. Um, no, the, the Goodyear tires. He created the process of making vulcanized rubber, which, unlike raw rubber, is waterproof and malleable, which it's able to hold cheeks, pretty much. The first rubber ducks weren't actually hollow at all. They were two toys. That's right. The first hollow duck came out in 1931 by a certain Marylander. Eleanor Shanahan created a duck that could play pranks by squirting water from the toy's mouth. A little later, in 1938, Walt Disney partnered with Cyberling Latex Products in order to create bath floater toys, among which were Donald and Donna Duck. Very sweet, but the first version of what we may call a rubber duck came in 1947 from Peter Ghani, who sculpted and created the uncapsizable duck with a squeaker. But with vinyl plastic, which is actually the material that's used in most rubber ducks today. Finally, the rubber duck went straight up in fame and usage as a bath time classic in 1970 through the song Rubber Ducky from Sesame Street. Rubber Ducky, you're the one. You're my bottom. After learning about rubber ducks, I think the favorite thing that I learned is that Daisy Duck from Disney used to be called Donna Duck. But even more importantly, rubber ducks don't have to be rubber, don't have to be hollow, don't have to be able to squeak, they don't have to float. 
They don't have to be yellow. They don't have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what can a duck be? Well, I'll only be counting toy ducks. Okay. And what is a toy duck? I know one when I see it. Okay. This is all about. Stop fighting at once. We just want to be considered ducks. Rubber ducks, I mean. I mean, why if we can fit into at least some of the criteria and really, really want it, why can't we be considered ducks? Is right. <gasps> I snuck in as a spy. <gasps> but instead of crooks, I found genuine rubber ducks in there. He's an imposter among ducks. A parody for all the other means. Right. It rhymes. What is it? There are just over 300 ducks in my collection. Excluding these guys. <laughs> Um, we're talking to Duck Byron over there. <laughs> I agree that anyone who really wants it should be able to be a duck. And anyone should be able to do whatever it is that makes them feel like themselves. And if nothing else, remember, you're the only person, or duck, who ever can be you.